Stewie is played by Aryan Moyed, who was born in Iran and grew up in Chicago, and he spent much of his acting career fusing the arts with his activism. You can see him anytime in succession and soon on Love Life on HBO Max. But right now, you can see him here on Peacock because joining me right now is actor Aryan Moyed, AKA Stewie. Thank you so much for coming on the show this evening. How are you? Thank you so much for having me. I know you're a big fan. And so I just, to give you a little bit of the inside track of it, it just makes me so happy. Well, we appreciate it. A lot of people ask me, what is the attraction of sitting and watching a bunch of gazillionaires doing and saying gazillionaire things? But the truth is, I cannot stop. And it's like none of these people have a decency filter, which is so addictive to watch. What is it like to be part of that experience? For, I mean, it's, it feels like you're a part of this kind of like national, maybe international phenomenon right now, which is really about trying to show the world a little bit of how the 0.0001% of society kind of functions and moves. And yeah. so being a part of that is really just kind of like awesome and delicious. But it's also kind of rare because we really don't get a chance to see those folks in that kind of like very, very minute way. Having them not know how much a gallon of, um, of, of milk costs is like kind of like insane to me. Um, and so being a part of all that is just, it's just a dream. Honestly, it's just a dream come true. There was a scene in last night's episode where the eldest son talks about having to fly scheduled, not private jet. And there were some movies, uh, which was uh, a great line. So first Your time, bank and, cold, and cold food or whatever. It was hilarious. Yes, so refrigerated fun. cheeses, I think, was the line. Uh, you're back as the <laughs> equity investor, Stewie Hussein. It was great to see you on the screen last night. He is a college friend of Kendall Roy, the heir with ambitions and a substance problem. Stewie always seems to be calculating the angles in any relationship. Is he a good guy or a bad guy? Can there be any good guys in this world of wealth and power and ambition? I think that's an amazing question. And to be real with you, I, when you have that type of billionaire class or bajillionaire class, I do find it slightly off-putting. And I don't know if you can be a good guy or a bad guy um, because it's just so complicated. I mean, for the reason why people love and admire this show, I think, is A, you get a, a, gl a glimpse of what these folks look like, but you also, you know, there is so, there's no boundaries for any of these rich folks. So they can say all the devilish yeah. things that are sometimes in our minds. And they, we can say it in a way that only they can get away with because nothing's going to hurt them. Um, and so yes. we are addicted to that. You know, we're really addicted to kind of seeing what would happen if the devil that's on our shoulder does all the talking for us. Yeah, there's no sugarcoating of this billionaire class. And, you know, uh, the writers of the show have said it's just loosely based on Rupert Murdoch. You know, I lived in the UK most of my life before I moved to the uh, United States. I followed Rupert Murdoch's career closely on both sides of the Atlantic. When I watched Logan Roy, I think, yeah, that, that is probably how Rupert Murdoch talks in private. I can imagine him speaking to one of his sons in that way. And we've seen the family drama in the Murdoch family. I mean, it's a drama. It's, you know, it's satire. It's fiction but is it i mean yeah is it i mean in my mind whether you think it's murdoch or not murdoch there are there are about 10 to 15 basically white men that rule the civilized world that when you come down to it they just basically rule everything that's there and and whether it's rupert murdoch or whether it's other people like that i have to say it oftentimes feels to me that um, it feels very close to home. Nothing, you know what's also crazy? I'll never forget when I read the episode of Bore on the Floor in season two, and I, and I read that and I saw like the, the, what was gonna happen, I thought to myself, that is just madness and insanity. But then you realize, oh, people do shit like this all the time, I just swore. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's oh, hey, you're, you're in succession. Can anyone blame you for swearing in, yeah, your, exactly. in your spare time exactly. as well? Um, exactly. let, let's just talk about another show before we run out of time. You've also started a turn on season two of Love Life, uh, which premieres this Thursday on HBO Max. You're joining the cast, I believe, as a millionaire friend to the main character. You keep getting typecast as a tycoon, Ariane. I understand you've pushed back against a lot of the traditional roles that Iranian Americans are expected to play. Tell me about that briefly. Briefly. You know, growing up, 
there was no roles for us. There kind of isn't really that many roles for us right now to begin with. And so they put you into two pockets, terrorist or victim. And, you know, because I'm an immigrant and my family has done so much to get me to this country from Iran, um, uh, I found it very important to me that I don't play either of those people. We are not victims. We do not like to be victims. My dad's name is Mehdi, by the way. I've been meaning to say that. Um, and um, to be, yeah, fantastic. I think he's going to love that I'm talking to you. Um, and so uh, uh, all this to say is, yeah, I've pushed back a lot on those. And uh, my entire life has been in the theater mostly with my nonprofit Waterwell and doing some Broadway things with things like Robin Williams. But then all of a sudden something like Succession comes where uh, the amazing writers ask me to be an actor in a space um, and do my what I'm good at. Um, and they let me be. And now all of a sudden you have this rich hedge fundy, lots of agency, maybe the most powerful person on this show, um, uh, being an Iranian. I love that. Yes. Very quickly, we're almost out of time. Do you think relations are going to improve between the United States and Iran? I have to ask a political question. Now we have Biden, not Trump, because it doesn't look, we haven't, we're not much closer since Biden's taken office in terms of getting back into nuclear I, deals, etc. You optimistic? I don't. I, I always am optimistic because I think the Iranian people at the heart want it, and I think the American people that know want it as well. So I have to feel optimistic about that. That being said, it seems like it's a, it's a, it's a lot of mistrust. Um, there was a deal that was made that all of a sudden was pulled out. So I think many of the Iranians and the Iranian community and the Iranian government even, um, for whoever um, is running that, um, they're basically like, well, why should we trust you guys anymore? Um, that being said, there's also sanctions that are happening there. Iranians are suffering yeah. under this brutal regime. And, and so it's tricky and it's, and it's hard. But um, I have to imagine that we live in a world in a place where smart, smarter people than you and I can make this happen. Well, maybe Last smart question, people than 20 me, seconds not left. you. Is it? Yeah. No, no, both of us. 20 seconds left. Is it true your mother thinks, uh, is prouder of your brother for being a doctor than you being Stewie? At a Christmas event, we said to my mom, what is your favorite memory of growing up in Iran and all that? And her response was, Omid, which is my brother's name. He's a doctor. <laughs> Literally uh, said a one well, word. She needs, she, needs, she needs to watch more Succession, as do we all. We'll have to leave it there, Ariane. Appreciate your time tonight. Succession airs thank Sundays you. on HBO, streams thereafter on HBO Max. Ariane Moed, thank you so much. That was great. Hi, I'm Mehdi Hassan. Thanks for checking out our channel on YouTube. You can see more of the Mehdi Hassan show by clicking on any of the videos on this screen and make sure you subscribe below to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. Thank you for watching.